Welcome back to the shop guys. We are installing the engine in the Argo today. Um, Got to do some work to it before. If y'all didn't remember that video, we pulled out a engine out of it that was an old Kohler that was so locked up. Um, it was really, really, really bad and we pulled that engine out of there and uh, now we're getting this one ready to go up there. Um, Gotta cut this exhaust loose right here. These bolts are so stripped out, they just won't come out. So we're gonna cut this exhaust off because he's putting a custom exhaust on here anyway. So we're just gonna cut this exhaust off, uh, brackets off. Um, this right here, this is the oil filter. The oil filter was in the way, as you could tell, let's see if we could, in the way of the belt. So, thanks to Roger's Fix-It Barn, he made some adapters that hooks to the oil filter base and then another one that'll hook right here. And now we have a remote oil filter. And so it'll be placed out of the way and we still got an oil filter. Um, again, this engine's a Bridget Stratton brand guard. I got it running, it runs. Uh, we got a clutch off a, ooh, might need to add a shim there. Uh, we got a, we got a engine or a clutch off a golf cart. Um, because the Argo, the Argo brand, uh, clutch was about $600. This was like $200. So we're, this is a the same size and stuff and we're hoping this will work for this job, but let's get started by cutting this off. And, uh, so we have it ready to go back on the, uh, on the machine. Okay, so I kept breaking boats off, so we're just gonna see if we can get this bracket off again. That one came out easy. This is the one over here. It's probably gonna be a pain, but we'll get it out the best we can. As you can see, I put some electrical tape over the uh, where the old adapter goes because I was afraid when I was cutting, we would get shavings down in there. The oil's drained because um, it's getting you know it's getting fresh oil. Right, we'll go over to the other side. Chrome extension. Screw the haters, guys. Let's do it one more step. Commenters be like, you shouldn't use a sawzall to fix an engine. Ooh, I think 
think of that? All right, I thought I was filming the whole time, um, but obviously uh, the camera got hot and froze. Anyway, it's on there. I uh, put locked. I put some uh, my my custom gasket with a little bit of RTV on both sides of it. Just lightly coated it, tightened it up, and we are good to install it. So I'll come back to y'all when we are installing. And just like that, we struck another problem. The back mounting bolts line up. They line up okay. Those over there, slightly shorter. So, we're gonna have to weld in a plate there, I think. I think that's the only way we're gonna make that work. Yep, that sucks, guys. What else can you do? Well guys, it's been three months since I worked on the Argo. Um, since I started shooting this video, or the video of doing the engine install. The owner never picked up the install the motor mount yet. Um, he wanted to install it instead of me. So he was gonna come and pick it up. So here it sets guys. Um, just waiting for the day that the owner might come back and pick it up um it's been three months it's been sitting here since uh it's been ready to go since september so will he come back who knows i mean he's got a lot of money invested in it but i wouldn't think he would abandon it but i just kind of wanted to go ahead and get the video out um it's been a while since i actually posted the video on the argo so i just wanted to go ahead and get the video out so i hope you enjoyed this video guys and if you haven't already hit that like button Hit that subscribe button. I'll see y'all next time in the shop. Later, everyone.